Hey YouTube, this is a free extract from my larger Illustrator course called Illustrator Essentials. You can check it out on bringyourownlaptop.com. Um, if you wanna follow along with this video, there's exercise files, okay? Those are free to download. You can go and download those and there'll be a link in the description, okay, so you can play along. Uh, one last thing is there's a cheat sheet as well. So there is a PDF you can download from bringyourownlaptop.com. Uh, look for resources, okay? It's a free PDF, you can download it, print it up, stick it next to your computer, while you're doing these videos. All right, enjoy the video. Bye now. Hey there, in this tutorial, we are going to make text follow a path like this curvy one here. We'll also do a badge where we do the text on the top and the bottom. Let's get into it now using Adobe Illustrator. All right, so what we'll do is we'll work on the side here. Instead of on the page, we'll work in what's called the paste area or the pasteboard. This area here is just a good place to work and do your design and then move it into the page when you're ready. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna use the pencil tool. Now your tool might be set to the shaper tool, so click and hold, hold, hold down the shaper tool until you get the pencil tool. Also note that I've double clicked the pencil tool and cranked up the smoothing to full blast. Why? Because it just makes my lines look nicer. I'm gonna have a fill of none, okay, and I'm gonna have a stroke of black. Cool, and I'm just gonna click, hold, and drag, and you'll notice that because I got the smoothing up, it looks quite nice. All right, I'm gonna grab the type tool and to do type on a path, all you need to do is with the type tool, hover above the line, you can see the kind of icon changes for the cursor. Okay, and just click wherever you want the text to start. Okay, and yeah, go through and puts in some Lauren Ipsum, some placeholder text. Now the one thing you might happen to you is it's kind of remember the last font that I've used and the color and the size. If you use a really large font, okay, you might not see anything. It might just be like way too big. So you might have to go through and just kind of lower your font size over here to make it more usable. I'm gonna go back to say, I'm gonna use 14. The other thing is that my, the last time I used the type tool, I was using center. So yours is probably gonna be left aligned, so it might be down this end. So let's type in some, let's type in you are awesome. Three exclamation marks. Okay, so I'm going to select all the text. I'm gonna pick a fill color. And um, some of the adjustments you might want to do are with the black arrow. Okay, grab the black arrow. This type line here, there is uh, there's kind of like three red lines. One, two, three. There's also these white boxes. Ignore the white boxes. They do weird stuff where they start linking text boxes. Okay, it's not what we want in this case. Black arrow, click off in the background. I'm gonna click back on it, and these red little sticks are quite useful. So this is the beginning. Okay, if I click and drag it now, you're avoiding the white square. You're looking for that cursor. It's like a flat. Uh, black line with an arrow poking out of it. If I click it, you can start uh, change the start position. Okay, same with the end. In this case, it doesn't really matter because I don't have enough type to get to the end. And this guy here is the center. And this center option is a lot more important when you are centering the paragraph. Okay, it means you can drag it left and right. Okay, as long as there's room at the ends here to move along. Cool, so those are some of the adjustments that you might make. And one of the things I want to do is, actually, I want to undo. Actually, I'm going to copy this undo until I get back to have my black line because what you'll notice is and there's no line there anymore remember the black line that I drew okay so say you want to use that as part of your design okay so I'm undoing way back here okay I'm going to paste this so I've got both versions so you might want to copy and paste that before you start adjusting the type now I'm going to kind of add it so it looks like it's kind of flowing along that type I might make the font a lot bigger I'm going to extend that out. How good is this going to look? I probably, I'm just going to add more text actually. You are awesome because you are you. Oh, lovely Dan. Couldn't think of anything. Um, I might need a little bit more space. I'm going to have to make my font size a tiny bit smaller. There we go. Cool. So what I want to do is I want to get this line. Um, I want to make the stroke white. Kind of look like a... I don't know, a Dodgers kind of look, that swooshy thing underneath. I've made my type quite thin, I've made it white. I'm using my width tool. Give me a width tool, where are you? This one here. Okay, and I'm just gonna click and drag maybe that bit. Come on, width tool, there we go. I slide you along here. We've used the width tool in a previous tutorial. That's the kind of thing I'm trying to do here. <laughs> All right, terrible. Um, next thing we're gonna do though is an icon like this where we're doing type on a path. It's kind of similar, but pretty similar. Okay, so we're gonna build, rebuild that. Okay, and afterwards I'm gonna rebuild this because I don't like it, but anyway. So uh, the way this works is actually, this has to be two, I'm gonna ungroup it. 
this actually has to be two separate circles. You can't actually draw on the top and then like hit a return and draw on the bottom. They're actually just two circles that we line up on the top of each other to make it look like kind of one unit. So that's the first trick. So let's start with an ellipse. So you might need to hold down the rectangle tool to get the ellipse tool. I'm gonna to hold the shift key while I'm dragging it out to get a perfect circle. Doesn't matter what stroke it has or what line it has, okay, or fill it has, because when we click it with the tool, like the one down here, it's all gonna disappear. So what we'll do is actually we'll copy and paste it. So we've got two of them to use, okay. And this one here, I'm gonna grab the type tool. Now, this type tool, can't be used the same sort of way. Okay, remember we could go on the edge. You have to actually use the official type on a path tool. So hold down the type tool, grab the type on a path tool, and let's click once in the middle. And it kind of does kind of does what we want to do. It does it kind of the reverse. Okay, so if I type in now uh, prevention of, um, okay, it's depending on this, you might have to select the center align. It's kind of done the bottom. Or what you can do to get started is I'm, I'm undoing, I just start at the bottom. It's up to you. So if I click down the bottom here, it kind of does a little bit more what I want. Prevention of, and that's what I want. Okay, you can move it around with the black arrow. We looked at it with this line down the bottom here. Remember the center point? Okay, that's this red line here. I can decide to stick it down the bottom. It's a little bit fiddly. You can see it kind of jumps around a little bit. Okay, but um, um, you can drag it around depending on how you want it. The other thing you can do is you can see I can drag it up and below. Okay, it means that it goes on the other side of the text box. Okay, it's real fiddly, don't worry. I'll show you a more manual way of doing this in a second, but I want mine to be there, that's perfect. I'm gonna use a font, I'm gonna use that league one that I had before, not in script, all classes, league gothic, I'm gonna use white. Cool, and let's have a look at um, doing the bottom part. Okay, so actually instead of using this, I'm just gonna copy and paste this one, copy and paste. And this one's gonna say, cruelty to designers. And um, so what we wanna do is with it selected with the black arrow, there's an option in here under type. There's one called type on a path, and there's this one called type on a path options. Click on him. Okay, and turn preview on because you want to see what you're doing. Flip is one of them. Okay, so it's going to go down to the bottom. That's basically what we want. Okay, so uh, we're going to click OK and we're going to rotate it around. We could grab the center point, rotate it around, or you could just rotate it normally. Up to you. One of the things we might need to change though is that this guy here kind of sits on the baseline. Okay, that would be considered the baseline uh, wherever the letters sit. Okay, this one here though is on the inside. Okay, whereas this is on the outside. So they're gonna look slightly different. So what we'll do is we'll line them up. Okay, and let's kind of adjust both of them actually. So I've got this bottom one selected and let's go to type, type on a path, type on a path options and preview on. And what you can look for is where it aligns to the path. Baseline is, yeah, where it sits. Okay, we're gonna go center. If we do center for both of them, it's gonna run straight through the line. Same with this one here. Type in a path, type in a path options, and we'll do center for you as well. Where are you, baseline, center. Cool. These other ones, baseline is the default. Uh, ascender and descender is just when we've got, say a type here and we've got this, okay. When they refer to ascender and descender, the ascender is everything that appears above see this thing here this is because the this is called the x height just so you know okay where the now all the lowercase letters line up along the top here okay anything above that is called the ascender so that is an ascender this little dot is an ascender descenders is things that appear below the baseline they descend all right so that is basic typography and basically you didn't want to know that right you just wanted to know how to make this so we've basically made it uh so your lining center your lining center if yours aren't snapping, they should just snap easily. If they're not, go to view and just make sure Smart Guides has got this little tick on. If it doesn't, click on it. And now we're just gonna build the center part. Actually, let's look at one last little thing. I'm gonna click both of them. Okay, I'm gonna go to type. Can you do both at the same time? You can. So type in a path options. Make sure preview's on. Now effect, there's kind of two you probably use, rainbow or skew. And basically uh, skew, will kind of, I don't know. It depends what you're trying to do. I feel like this is like a football, uh, American football, I don't know, cup launch thing. Okay, I don't really like it for what we're doing. You might love it. Okay, so um, there's that one, 
uh, rainbow skew gravity might be one you use gravity is a little bit different it means that it's going to tighten up the font so it's going to be skinnier at the bottom than at the top okay whereas rainbow they're going to be the same size either side okay the top and the bottom and it's just going to kind of they're going to get closer down the bottom it's up to you what you want to do you might not see very much difference don't worry about it um these other ones rainbow skew i'm um, yet to use Okay, uh, you might like it, rainbow ribbon or stair step, kind of, yeah, I'm yet to use those ones either. So I'm gonna go back to rainbow and just play around with my spacing. I'm gonna go up a little bit, whoa, not that high. <laughs> I don't know how it got that high. Let's go to zero. It's pretty cool though, I have no idea how that did that, but you can see if I crank it up, uh, it kind of ex you know, expands the spacing. You might have to do these separately because it's kind of affecting both of these differently. Cool, so you, Let's say I want a 10 point for this bottom one. That's what I'm looking at. And this top one here needs something different. Type, type on a path. And this one looks like it needs to preview on. Yeah, that tightens it up. So what we want to do is minus 10. Awesome. All right. Uh, so we've got both of these guys. Let's line them up. Centers centers there and I'm just going to draw this bit in the center now so now you can probably move on to the next tutorial because I'm just going to draw actually first of all I'll type certified I'm going to use the uh, tracking okay to open it up a little bit might pick a different font for this font size sorry there you go certified you fill color white line around the outside I'm just going to use a rectangle tool it's going to have no fill and it's going to have a stroke. One thing we haven't done yet is, so I'm gonna have nothing selected, rectangle tool, is that I've got a fill and a stroke. They're in the wrong position, right? You can use this little double arrow here to say, I want the white to be in the stroke, and I want the, you know, no fill to be in the fill. Does that make sense? Watch this. Just kind of switch them around. So now that should work, hopefully. Cool, I'm gonna grab them all and center them. Okay, so I use my black arrow, center them all. And this probably needs to come up a little bit. And I'm happy enough with it. I'm not. Okay, I want, there needs to be more spacing in this top part. But anyway, we get the feel for this thing now. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is to practice. Okay, you might have practiced with this one and followed along, but I would like you to go through, I've given you some text to create your own kind of like icon certification stamp type thing. Okay, and it's in your exercise files. There's one called type on the path exercise. It's, you'd think it was a mock uh, association, but there is an association with pet obesity prevention. Okay, if you are part of this uh, organization, I'm not mocking, just seems like a fun thing to do. If you're interested in it, there's the website, but I, basically I just want you to use that. Turn it into uh, a, a round or kind of lock up like this using type on the path. You can do whatever you like, I just like to see it. Okay, so as a project, I'd like you to do it and then yeah, post a project in the comments or in the project section. I'd love to see what you come up with. All right, so that's us for type on the path. We are going to move on to the next video. All right, see you over there. Hi, uh, what did you think of the video? If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also leave me a comment, uh, let me know what you liked about it. Um, also, this is kind of a short part of a longer course, okay? If you wanna check that out, it's at bringyourownlaptop.com. This is the essentials course, okay? There is also another course, there is an advanced course, okay, for Illustrator, and also a UI web uh, app design uh, version of Illustrator course as well. Check all those out. Um, also, it's quite a visual course. I'd love to see what you've actually made. Uh, on Instagram, I'm Bring Your Own Laptop. Okay, check that out. Also, remember there's a cheat sheet you can download. Bring Your Own Laptop. It's free under resources. Check all that out. And yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye now.